So we've been studying quadratic functions. In this short lesson, I would like to look at a few applications of quadratic functions. Let the function p of n, which is equal to negative 120n squared plus 1680n minus 2880, where n is the number of events catered each month. Okay, so n represents the number of events catered each month. That's what the variable n represents. Here comes the question. What number of, of events would need to be booked in order to maximize profit? And what would the maximum profit be? Okay, so p, the function p stands for a profit function. Okay, profit function. So p of n is the profit. That's what this uh, function is generating. But the variable n represents how many events that are booked. The question is, what number of events would need to be booked? So you need to find the number n, okay, in order to maximize the profit. Now we know that this is a quadratic function because it's uh, to the power of 2. Um, and also, we know that when we graph this quadratic, it'll be a parabola. And it'll be a parabola opening downward because the leading coefficient is negative. Now, because the parabola is opening downward, there is a maximum. There is no minimum, but there is a maximum. And the maximum occurs here at the vertex. So we know the maximum is located at the vertex. And for every point in the plane, the coordinates for each point in the plane are n and p of n. This is your input variable. And this is your function value, n and p of n. It's kind of similar to x and f of x, right? Or x comma y, input and output. n stands for the number of events that need to be booked. p of n stands for the profit that is being made. So if you and I want to figure out how many events need to be booked, you and I just need to find the first coordinate of the vertex. If you and I want to know how much profit will be the maximum profit, we have to find the second coordinate of the vertex. We can use the vertex formula to find both of these values. Recall that the vertex formula is negative b over 2a, so in this case, it'll be negative 1680, right, over 2 times a. Remember, this is a, negative 120, the leading coefficient, this is b, the coefficient of the first degree term, 1,680, and negative 2,880, this constant, would be considered c. So negative b over 2a is negative 1680 over 2 times a, which is negative 120. So this simplifies to a positive number because negative divided by a negative is a positive. And so it is 1680 divided by 240 which is equal to 7. So right there, we just found the first coordinate of the vertex, which is n, which is the number of events that need to be booked in order to maximize the profit. Now the question is, what's the profit? Well, all you got to do now is take 7 and plug it into your, into your function. In other words, p of n, p of 7. So I got to plug 7 in here. And that's just what I've done here, is I've taken um, 7 and I've plugged it into my function. And after some arithmetic, I find it to be 3,000. So the answer to this problem is um, 7 events would need to be booked in order, in order to maximize the profit, which would be $3,000. All right, I hope this example made sense. And I hope it um, helps you tackle some other kinds of problems. All right, that are similar to this one. Uh, let's move on. Check out this problem. Suppose you can buy garden fencing in lengths of 50 feet at the local hardware store. Now, the first part of this question says, if you bought 100 feet of fencing and wish to enclose a rectangular garden in your backyard, what should the, be the dimensions of your garden in order to maximize the area? All right, let me show a picture. 
All right, here is your rectangular garden that is being enclosed by a fence. The question is, what should the dimensions of your garden be in order to maximize the area? In other words, what does the width and the length need to be of your garden in order to maximize the area of this rectangle? Now remember that this is the width, and this is the width, this is the length, and this is the length. Now we know a few things here. We know that twice the length plus twice the width should be equal to the perimeter. So in this case, it's twice the length plus twice the width should be equal to 100 because we are using 100 feet of fencing. So the perimeter here is 100. If you divide this equation by two, then you would get a simpler equation, which is length plus width is equal to 50. Furthermore, what I can do here is isolate one of these variables, I'll, maybe the length. And I can say the length is equal to 50 minus w. Now remember that, because we're going to come back and use this in just a minute. Now I could have isolated um, w instead of the length, but I just chose, just because, I, um, for no particular reason, I chose to isolate the length. Now, another formula that we have for this problem is the area. The area of this rectangle is the length times the width. But we just figured out that the length can be re uh, written as 50 minus w. So I'm going to make that substitution. See right here, we just wrote, finished writing the length as 50 minus w. So that's what I substituted for the length. Now distributing w here gives me that the area is 50w minus w squared or negative w squared plus 50w. Now I can write this as an area function if I'd like, um, but the notation would have to be a little different. So it'd be like this, a of w would be equal to negative w squared plus 50w. So this is an area function where w represents the width of our garden and a of w gives me the area of the entire garden. Now notice that this function, a of w, is a quadratic function whose um, leading coefficient is negative. So therefore, if you were to graph this quadratic function, it would be a parabola opening downward. So I hope you see a pattern here. And so when they said they want to maximize the area, remember, let me scroll back up to the problem here so I can show you the wording. There it is. Uh, what should be the dimensions of your garden in order to maximize, there it is, maximize your area. So we know that when a parabola opens downward, there is a maximum. And the maximum, sometimes for short, I just call it max, occurs at the vertex. So this is the vertex of your parabola. And so if we find the vertex, the coordinates of the vertex, then we've answered the question. Now, in this case, the coordinates for your vertex are w comma a of w. These are the coordinates for your vertex, okay? Now, we know that w, the first coordinate, which is your input, represents the width of your garden. And a of w, your function value, your output, represents the area of the garden. So let's use the vertex formula to find the first coordinate of the vertex, and then we will find a of w. All right, so the vertex formula is negative b over 2a, which in this case is negative 50, right? Negative 50, that's your b value. So negative 50 over 2 times a, 2 times negative 1, the leading coefficient. This turns out to be 25. Now let's be very clear. The vertex formula, negative b over 2a, 
the first part, gives you your first coordinate of the vertex, which represents the width of our garden. So we just figured out that the width of our garden is 25 feet. Now we need to know what the area is. Well, A of W it gives us the area, so we need to figure out what A of 25 is. All right, I went ahead and plugged 25 into my area function, and I found out that the area would be maximized at 625, don't forget, squared feet. Also, don't forget that we found the width, but we also need the length because they said find the dimensions. All right, to find the dimensions, you need to know the width and the length. But let me remind you, up here, we said that the length is 50 minus W. So the length then will be 50 minus 25. The length is also 25 feet. So the width is 25 feet, the length is 25 feet. So I guess this rectangular, rectangular garden is really a square. So I wrote my final answer like this. A 25 foot by 25 foot garden will maximize the area at 625 squared feet. Be careful when you're finding area, the units are always squared. Good job, everybody. Let's look at this last part. Assume you will use the 100 feet of fencing to build your rectangular garden against the side of the house. So only three sides need fencing. What should be the dimensions of this garden in order to maximize the area? Let's draw a picture. All right, here's our picture. Here's our garden, and we're using um, the side of the house here to enclose the garden on one side. So therefore, we only have a width and a width and a length here. Now, in this case, we, have, we still have a 100 foot of fencing to use. So then here we have 2W plus only 1L is equal to 100. I'm going to solve for L here. Um, I'm going to isolate L by subtracting 2W from both sides, like this. Now I'm gonna come back to this statement probably at the end of the problem. Now the area function, we wanna maximize the area again. Now remember that the area uh, function, I'm gonna write it as a function from the very beginning. Well, hold on, actually before I do that, let me say that the area is found by multiplying the length and the width. But in this case, the length is the same thing as 100 minus 2w. So when we distribute this w, we end up getting a is equal to um, negative 2w squared plus 100w. Now I want to write this in like using function notation. Um, so then I'm going to say a of w is equal to negative 2w squared plus 100w. Now, you can probably, you probably saw this coming. You know, you and I know, that this is a quadratic function whose leading coefficient is negative, which means that we're talking about a parabola, again, of course. And this parabola, like usual, is opening downward. And if you want to maximize the area, the maximum occurs at the vertex. So again, if you find the coordinates of the vertex, you've answered the question. Now, again, in this context, the vertex has these coordinates, w, comma, a of w. Okay, those are the coordinates. We're going to use the vertex formula to find these coordinates. Okay, so let's go for it. So using negative b over 2a, we found that the width, the first coordinate of your vertex here, is 25, in this case 25 feet. Now before I go any further, I want to find the length. We found the, the width, let's find the length. All we have to do is use this formula. I said we'd come back to it, so here we are coming back to it. The length is found by 100 minus 2w. So the length is 100 minus 2 times 25, right? We move this up a little bit here. So then the length is equal to 100 minus 50. So the length is 50 feet. 
So the width is 25 feet and the length is 50 feet. Now, what about the maximum area? What's the maximum area? Well, let's finish off the vertex formula that you and I were using. Negative b over 2a gives us 25. We are to plug in 25 into our area function in order to figure out the maximum area. So let's do that now. a of 25. That would be negative 2 times 25 squared plus uh, 100 times 25. Sorry for the sloppiness there. So then this is, uh, let's see, uh, 25 squared is 625 times negative 2, which would be negative 1,250. And then 25 times 100 is 2,500. And the difference between uh, these two numbers is uh, 1,250. Okay. So, um, this is the maximum area. So, this is squared feet. So, in summary, a 50 uh, foot by 25 foot garden would maximize the area at 1,250 squared feet. Now, remember, this is the, within the context of using the house as um, one of the sides of the garden. Cool deal. That was fun.